Hi, I'm Hannah Blood and I am the nursery manager and propagation manager for Tohono Tool. Today we're looking at Arizona rosewood. This is the Vaquelinia californica. It is an evergreen shrub that is found usually in open hilly slopes. Its distribution is through Arizona into Mexico and then on the Baja California. It does bloom in the spring. Late spring, you'll get large clusters of small white flowers. It's in the rose family, so they're tiny, five-petaled white flowers. When you're looking at the shrub, you will notice that sometimes there's these persistent seed capsules left from where the flower cluster was blooming in the spring. So this bush was obviously covered in a lot of white flower clusters. The um, Leaves are leathery and thick. Um, sometimes they'll have a slight serration to the margin, meaning that'll be like a serrated knife, but these are really smooth leaf margins and the underside of our native species has this really white color. Here we have a lot of leaf litter and debris, which is called detritus from this Arizona rosewood over here. And I know a lot of people take a great pride in keeping their rocks clean, but this will not only keep moisture in the earth, but it also adds nutrients back to your plants. The Arizona rosewood typically grows about 15 feet high and 10 feet wide. So if you're looking for a really great privacy screen, the Arizona rosewood is a really great shrub. It's evergreen and it's non-toxic, so it's a great replacement for oleanders, which usually serve the same purpose as a privacy screen. It is cold hardy and it is the host to a swallowtail butterfly as well. So they'll come and lay their eggs on here for their larvae to hatch, which will be caterpillars and then they will become butterflies. So adding this to your yard, it's a really great plant for being durable. It has a bad rap for growing slowly, but if you give it a moderate drink, you'll get more growth on it. You can always water plants and get good growth, and then you can always wean them back if you want to give them less. And with many desert plants, they're used to having less, and by watering them more in their yard, they're going to thank you.